Hello, nerds. Welcome to your new favorite pop culture podcast. It's the post credit show. How are you, Lucky? Good to be here, baby. We got something fun today, don't yeah, we, mate? Yeah, we're going to do something a little bit different today. What's it called? What's our episode called this uh, week? We'll get to that in just a second. Okay. But the reason why we're doing this is because, Lucky, I've got a confession to make. It's not really a confession. It's more of a, an admission. Oh. Um, and I think I'm probably not the only person who will say this. But I loved Mrs. Doubtfire. Yes, you did. We, I loved Mrs. Doubtfire. Who didn't? I love that scene where Robin Williams knocks on the door of his brother's house and goes, I want you to make me a woman. <laughs> <laughs> he had, uh, he, that, was the, that was the actor that had that real... That real that really, deep... Yeah. Oh, honey. Yeah, you could, you'd recognise that from a mile away. <laughs> hey, uh, future James Bond was in that movie. Who? Pierce Brosnan. Oh, yes, he was yeah, too. He played the handsome man. He was too. And I Rob, really enjoyed him. And Robin in that. Williams' brother actually was, he portrayed the bartender in the scene at the pool. Oh. Yeah, a little fun fact for you there. So That was such a great scene. Oh, mate, it was bloody hilarious. Man, I loved it. <laughs> um, my other, fa- other fa- favourite line from it was, um, Oh, my first day as a woman, and I'm already <laughs> having hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> You could pick apart that movie. You could seriously pick apart that movie for an hour. There are so it's many fantastic. good one-liners in that, fantastic. and there's no one else that could have done that. He, there is not. He was just peak performance. Robin Williams at his absolute best. Yeah, um, yeah, which was yeah brilliant to watch there. So because of how much I love this movie, we've decided that we're going to do a fun little segment, yep. a cute little segment. We might even do this somewhat frequently. Who knows? We'll see how it goes. The segment's name is. Ask Auntie Loosh. <laughs> Hello, Chirps. <laughs> <laughs> you virgin air doubt fire, dearie. <laughs> <laughs> so Ask Auntie Luce, I am here to answer all of your pressing life questions. Lockie, we've had some people write in. We have. We've actually got a couple days. of people that have sent some uh, some very interesting questions that they want to know the answers to. They demand to know how they can Ooh. fix these problems in their life. So who's better who better to us than Auntie Luce himself? Uh-huh. So I'm just gonna get straight into hold it. Hold on, hold on. Can I just say oh. you know the difference between you and me is right now? You're wearing a flamingo coloured... I make this look good. (laughs) (laughs) All right, so, Auntie Loosh. Yes, Doug. (laughs) (laughs) We've got our first first question here from the Drama Llama. Ooh, precious. She wants to know, Auntie Loosh, how do I avoid drama in my life? Well, to start with, dearie, (laughs) stop causing it. Seriously, stop causing it. Shut your trap for once. So you don't have an opinion on everything? Is that is that, is that what well, you're saying? Well, no, because Auntie Luce has an opinion on everything. <laughs> but this is Auntie Luce speaking. <laughs> Drama Llama. <laughs> um, all right, I've got to stop doing the voice now because this is just too much. <laughs> <laughs> so what's your, what's your final answer for the Drama Llama? How do I avoid drama in my life? Shut up. Perfect. Done. <laughs> now... We've got another one here from Bimbo69. Oh, I know Bimbo69. Yes. How do I stop doing bags? Well, to start with, I suggest determining why you need bags. Mm. Are we talking Versace? Yeah. Are we talking Gucci? What yeah. kind of bags are we talking about? Yeah, because yeah. you can get cheaper bags at the supermarkets, you know, darling. Yeah, yeah. Ten cents for a paper bag. <laughs> you don't really need one of those expensive bags, do yeah, you? Yeah. But look, if you really do need bags, my suggestion to you... Find a sugar daddy. Yeah, perfect. Well, this comes into our next question, actually. Ooh, I'm now, sure it does. We've got our listener, Angry Lebo Lady. Ooh. She wants to know, Auntie Louche. Precious. How do I get myself a sugar daddy? Well, to start with, darling, you need to spend all of your money so that you're completely broke. There's no point having a sugar daddy <laughs> if you've got money in your own bank account, is there now? <laughs> so you're telling me. 
<laughs> Get as desperate as possible. So you're saying become desperate and broke and the sugar daddy will just appear like Gene. Well, that way when you're desperate and broke, when a sugar daddy approaches, you're hungry. you'll take the first one that comes along. You won't be too picky now, will you, darling? Okay, so great answers, <laughs> Aunty Lou. You're doing well here. Eh? Uh, we've got another one here from Twig Boy. What's the most important quality someone can have? B-D-E. Big D. No. Energy. No, oh, no, no, oh, no. sorry, Aunty Luce. Bravery, diligence, and effervescence. <laughs> And that's the tea, darling. Oh, wow, Auntie Luce, you're on fire today, son. <laughs> okay, I've got one here from Dandy Nong Stripper. Oh, darling. Why can't we see John Cena? Who's John Cena, darling? He's a wrestler, actor, but you don't ever see him. I've never seen him before. <laughs> so I've been watching wrestling for decades. I've never seen the man. Is it a man or a woman? Well, we don't know because you can't see him. Oh. Well, with the name John, it could be anything. But you just, I can't assume, can't assume. Jonathan, is it? Could be, could be. Mm, um, I don't know. I don't know the answer to this no. one. No. So, okay, mm. so yeah, don't have an answer there. Sorry, Danny Nong Stripper. Um, now, I've got another question here from Stressed and Saucy. Stressed and Saucy, how can I help you? Okay, how do I juggle school, a social life and work without becoming burnt out? Well, darling, juggling is hard. <laughs> juggling is really hard. My suggestion is to learn how to fire breathe instead. <laughs> <laughs> oh my mm. lordy, lordy, lord! It's nothing like being a fire breathing dragon. Princess. No, no, no. You, you'd know that, wouldn't you? Okay, so <sighs> I've got another question from Advice Cow. Oh gosh! What is the best life advice, Auntie Luce, you've ever been given? Forgiveness is kind. Mm-hmm. But never pay full price for a late pizza. <laughs> Shit. I don't know why you're so surprised oh. by these words of wisdom and oh. these nuggets They're and very, pearls. Very deep and meaningful oh. stuff you've got here. Darling, don't even um, get me started. Wasn't there, um, wasn't a lady man, lady boy man baby one? Oh, uh, yes, so lady boy man baby. Yeah, I heard asks, about you. How will I know what I want to be when I grow up? Well, this is a very simple question. Mm -hmm. It's a very simple question with a very simple answer. See, life's a journey. <laughs> okay? Okay. But to start the journey, you have to get moving. So my advice is to get on the street corner. Because eventually, if you stand on the street corner for long enough and wave your hands around for long enough, your taxi will arrive and your journey will begin. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It's very simple. So how? So if I want to know what I want to be, I just go stand on a corner. Is what you're saying? On a street corner? Yes. That's great advice. <laughs> well done. Um, all right. Well, back to happy, sad, hungry. This is our final question here for Arnie Lush. What advice would you give to your youngest self? This one we're going to take a little bit differently. Oh, the glasses are off. This one is not Arnie Lush. It's Uncle Lush now. Oh, you've switched. Mm. You should have played the movie Split. I've been thinking about this one very genuinely today, and okay. I thought whether or not I was going to take a bit of a comedic angle with it, but I thought, you know what? This is an opportunity to really say something of meaning. I like it. So if I had an opportunity to talk to my younger self, there are a few points that I'd want to make. Yeah, what do we got? The first one is to embrace yourself. Yeah, that's a good one. Never, ever, ever let yourself get tied up in hating who you are accept who you are move forward with it don't be angry at yourself because there's enough people in the world who are angry about so many different things mm -hmm. and sometimes that anger will be directed towards you yeah yeah don't complicate that by being angry with yourself as well but the other thing i would say is don't let your self-worth mm -hmm. be placed in what other people say about you yeah some people one. will call you a friend and some people will just take and take and take from you until there is nothing left to give. And I've I've run into a number of people in my life who were like that, and mm -hmm. it it set me back nearly a decade of my life. And yeah, I've wow. I've very recently, and this is me being a little bit more transparent now, me yeah, being yeah. a little bit more Lucian, which yep. is my real name for all those playing at home. Um, never ever ever let people take advantage of you because yeah. they're is always people looking for opportunities to make the most out of other people's pain and suffering. Yeah, misfortunes um, and whatnot, I get that. 
but probably the biggest things that I would say is to know your worth, mm -hmm. to be yourself, and to also not surround yourself with people that are just like you because nothing good comes out of an echo chamber. Wow, that's good advice. So that's on a genuine level, and that's why I wanted to end with this question because for all the fun that we've had today and all yeah. of the all of the the great you know humor and banter that we've gone through, yep. I wanted to end this episode with that. That's 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 nice. I like that. Well done. So that's beautiful, mate. Auntie Lou signing off. I am absolutely wrecked. Yeah, bed, <laughs> it's bed, been it's been a very very long day today. Bedtime um, for you, son. And I'm very very excited to see how you guys uh, feel about all of the the work that we've put in today. Yep. So um, yep. that's been us. Uh, I've been Loosh. That's been Lucky. And um, there's also been Auntie Loosh as well. So let us know if you want to see Arnie Loosh back. But until then, say hi to your mom for me. Bye-bye.